What's up guys, Cooler Hacker here, and today I'm going to be talking about what exactly hardware type of computer do you need to basically have a home media center for your home. So anyways, um, what I'd recommend at least would be a PC with a 2 gigahertz processor and at least 2 gigs of RAM. Um, that's really all you need. You need a dual core processor, so having a single core 3 gigahertz processor is not going to make it that well. Uh, especially for something that you'd like to use for HD videos, for example. Um, even though this one right here is a 3 gigahertz processor, this little computer here handles HD videos very, very badly, and it doesn't work as nice. And this one right here is way too ancient, so if you have an ancient computer, you're not really going anywhere. And this one, even though it's pretty good, it still hasn't made it enough to play HD videos. So in that case, if you absolutely have an old computer, you might want to look at getting a USB video card that'll play HD, which will cost you a little bit more than what it's worth. However, if you have an Apple computer, I'd recommend a um, Mac Mini, especially for building a media center. If you want to buy that specifically to make a home media center, it you can get an older version for around $500, if not cheaper than that and then you can pretty much play HD videos. Now as you can see I have this MacBook Pro here and basically to play any type of media you and to put it on your computer you're going to need an adapter or a cable that can handle such as a VGA input if you have a newer TV um, or a DVI to HDMI adapter and cable. Now with Macs it's very very interesting because they want to make space much easier, so therefore it requires an adapter that costs $30. So you're not going to get out without paying anything if you have a Mac, obviously. But if you have a Windows and you already have VGA cable and your computer is capable of playing HD playback, you can actually get this um, going for free if you already have your stuff, obviously. So, first thing I'm going to show you is what you need for a Mac. And you need this cable specifically, and I'm going to show you how this works. So this is the cable you need right here and this will plug into a MacBook Pro from 2009 to 2011. If you have a MacBook Pro that's a little bit, I think in 2008 you're going to already have a DVI cable so therefore you don't need this adapter but if it's a like 2009 late 2009 model you're going to need this adapter which will cost you around twenty to thirty dollars depending on where you get it now there's one last thing and I'm going to basically get that and you'll be stuck staring at a picture or a, a movie of my computer hopefully I can get this to stay straight I'm recording on an iPhone so it's not the best way to record but it is HD Okay guys, so if you are connecting a DVI cable up to your computer, I mean a DVI cable up to your um, LCD monitor, you're going to need something like this to convert it to HDMI. And if you have DVI, it will work, and this little adapter here will cost you around $10. So what you do is you basically take the other end of this end and just plug it in. So I'm going to do that right now, and hopefully I can do it well enough so that you can see it here Let's see. So all you need to do is just plug that in here it's not the easiest thing to do in the world especially when you're recording but it is easy to do so I'm just gonna basically push that in and as you can see got this adapter here got this other adapter here now I will list exactly where you can get these for the cheapest prices that I can find on my um, information panel so you can just click that and what I also recommend is some sort of device that you can use to control basically your media center with um, whether that be something like this if you have a 
Mac computer I will show you but if you have Windows something like this and a receiver will do just fine it's a very very nice remote that will basically allow you to control your media center with or you could use an iPhone for example and download an application I'll, I'll list here called Boxy Remote and I will be showing you guys that um, application in the future but it won't be an HD because I don't have an HD camera other than this so let me get out the actual um, remote that you're going to need if you want to use a specific remote for your MacBook Pro um, Mac Mini or iMac right here so this is a very nice remote here and I'm going to show you it like this so you get a good sense and as you can see I can control the computer I don't have any batteries in here but this this will run you about twenty dollars so expect to be paying you know if you want to make a media center it, it's worth it because you can basically ditch cable to an extent and you can also save yourself some time and watch more HD footage on your computer um, it, when I mean cable, I mean not internet cable, obviously, I meant cable that you have to pay for, for the use of watching TV. Now, the third thing, or the last thing I recommend you at least getting, is an external hard drive. This one's a 1.5 terabyte hard drive with the Apple sticker on top, and the second one is a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Um, both are very good. Um, the terabyte one will probably run you about $75 now. That one will probably run you about $50, but it does need an external uh, outlet for that. So you're going to need a outlet power. So this these cables get very, very, very um, mixed up in some cases. So you're going to have a little bit of a wiring mess, to say in the least. Now, if you also want to control it, you could try um, a wireless mouse, or you could even try something like this. Um, which is the Magic Track Pad. If you have it hooked up on a desk area, you can control it from across the room. It's very, very nice, the Magic Track Pad. However, I recommend if you do have an iPhone, iPod Touch, I would definitely try to control it with this. This would probably be the best way, and I have an application that you can see for that. But as you can see, that's really all you need um, to control it. it. I'd also recommend a wireless keyboard if you're not gonna go with the way of using the iPhone or iPod Touch but really the best remote in the world in my opinion is the iPod Touch or iPhone because you can get an application that'll control your media basically from the uh, computer so it's very 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 cool so that's pretty much it as far as what you guys are gonna need um, if you wanna hook this thing up to surround sound you're gonna also need a cable that can do that um, it's my dog, by the way. Um, so, anyways, yeah, you're going to need a uh, cable that will go into a MacBook Pro or a Mac Mini, whether you have a Mac or not, um, that will allow you to get surround sound. And I will go over that when we are actually physically setting this up. But that's a pretty much basic look at the hardware. You're going to pretty much need this cable if you have a MacBook Pro or any Mac from 2009 and onward. Basically, you're going to need this type of cable, except for the iMac 2011, um, which uses uh, ISO speed. I believe it's very, very fast. I'm not exactly sure what the name is. But yeah, you're going to need this cable, which is a DVI uh, cable also, and you're going to need that for your Mac. And you're also going to need this adapter here just to get your input set up to HDMI. Or you could get one of these in VGA, which I don't recommend um, necessarily because of the quality is a little bit better when using HDMI compared to VGA, which is analog versus a digital signal. Um, that's pretty much it to get it set up and hooked up. Um, please review the other video if you have not seen it about me basically showing you what software you can get to get this thing set up. But it it's pretty simple to get it um, installed but you do need the correct cables and everything else. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm Clue Your Hacker. Definitely comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you guys have a, like a video that you want to see put on YouTube on how to do stuff technologically inclined, obviously, um, I can do other videos. So thank you guys. Definitely comment, rate, and subscribe.